toppling Assad is the right thing to do from a human rights and humanitarian point of view, but it's the right thing to do from a U.S. national security point of view because it weakens Iran and it cuts, it, 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 it takes the, the most significant ally of Iran away from it and it cuts the line that Iran has to, to, to Hezbollah. Um, and so for me, our values, our humanitarian values, our, our, our concern for democracy, and our national security interests all point in one direction. So the vector is very, is, is, is very clear. Uh, when I listen to the Obama administration's um, statements, when I talk to people in the government, I don't understand how they're reading it. Sometimes they say, yes, that is how we're reading it. Uh, but then you look at what they're doing, and they're not doing a lot. Uh, even now, I mean, we got, uh, if you, we got very nice statements from the, uh, of concern from the Secretary of State uh, up at the, the UN, UN debate. But very little in, uh, with regard to, well, what's the United States going to do when the Assad regime doesn't comply with, with whatever resolution comes out? And as, as Andrew told us, the resolution that we're going to get in the end is going, is, going to be, uh, is going to be pretty mild. It's not going to put that much pressure on the, uh, more pressure on the Assad regime. Uh, and so the question always remains, well, what are we going to do? And the, the, the message the, or the, the sense that one gets here is that, like the Turks, we don't want to do anything. It's in the too hard category. My question is, why is it in the too hard category? Um, and I think that there are possibly two answers. Uh, one is, they don't really see it as I do. That is, that all the vectors, uh, uh, all the vectors aim toward toppling the, the, the Assad regime. Uh, they're not really reading it as an important play, strategic play, uh, against Iran. Um, <clears throat> the other answer is that they think that they can get the result that they want without doing much. That the fall of Assad is inevitable. And if we just, if we just continue to keep up the diplomatic pressure, put pressure on the Arab League to do something, that through masterful inaction, we'll get the exact same result we would have through some kind of intervention, but without all of the costs, diplomatic, uh, uh, politi the domestic, political, diplomatic, um, uh, in terms of resources and so on, that an actual intervention would, uh, uh, would, it, would entail. Um, that, that seems to me to be the most serious argument uh, for, what they're, for what they're not doing, that it's masterful inaction. I personally... I personally, I personally don't agree with it uh, uh, because I, uh, I don't think we can be sure that we're going to get the result that we want by taking this kind of hands-off approach and putting the Arab League forward.